Wow. Na furahia uko hapa. Nimegundua kwamba one of my best friends alikuwa in an abusive relationship kwa muda mrefu. Na hakuna mmoja wetu alijua anything about it. I'm heartbroken. Nilidhani tuliambia na everything. Maybe ningemongelesha angeniambia about it suna. So, habari ndio hiyo. Intimate your partner violence as ingine in it team dating violence ama domestic violence ni pattern ya behavior inayotumika na partner mmoja ku maintain power na control over another partner in an intimate relationship. Hizi ni forms of gender based violence. Intimate partner ni person's boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, partner ama lover. Intimate partner violence inaweza kuwa different kinds of abuse. Physical abuse inaweza include hitting, kicking, punching ama types zingine za physical violence. Emotional abuse sio lazima iwe na physical violence but inaweza kuwa equally as harmful. Busy emotionally one is itwa names humiliated, yelled at ama afanywa feel intimidated. Abuser anaweza try to control the other person kwa kumwambia what to do na what to wear, mahali wanaenda na mahali hawezi ama ku display other jealous behavior. Financial abuse ni mahali mtu anatoa ku control na ku limit access ya money kwa partner wake. Ndio huyo partner wake akwe dependent kwake. Example moja ni kama mtu ana discourage ama ana disallow partner wake ku work wa make pesa yao. Ingine ni mtu kuchukua partner's money ama bank credit cards na akatai kurudisha. Form mingine abuse inajulikana kama stalking na harassment. Stalking ama kuharass mtu inaweza include kumspy ama kumfuata na constantly kushow mali yuko ama kukata kwenda hata akikwambia. Stalking pia inaweza include kutuma harassing ama unwanted emails, texts ama posts inajulikana pia kama cyberbullying. Finally, kuna partner abuse inayo involve sexual abuse. Hii type ya violence ni saa zile mtu na force partner wake ku participate kwa sexual acts ama behaviors bila consent yake ama ana ignore sexual boundaries a partner. Kwa sababu mtu wako kwa intimate relationship na mwenzake, haimaanishi lazima mh have sex na yeye ama mpango vitu sexual that they find uncomfortable ama demeaning hata kama wamekuwa na sexual relations na yeye in the past. Kama ni wewe ama mtu unajua ashai kuwa abused in a relationship, ni important kujua ya kwamba sio makosa ya the abused person na ni important ku ask for help. Kupata help naweza ongea na school counselor, a social worker ama trusted adult mwingine. Resource fiti kama una need information, support ama advice in domestic violence helpline, unaweza angalia website yao kwa www.tears.co.za. Ulizia mali unaweza pata help kwa gender based violence iwe yako. Kumbuka domestic violence sio mapenzi. Mtu anakupenda kweli, hawezi try kukuham physically, kuku control, kuku make feel bad kujihusu ama akuforce to do something utaki kufanya. Relationship loving na healthy ni about consent. Jiheshimu na jidhamini you as an individual. Till next time, usisahau kunitembelea kwa amaze.org ama kwa YouTube channel kwa watch more. Bye.